Ladies and gentlemen, who's ready for a live chat before the Bachelor finale? Oh boy, I have to, oh boy, we have a real, real issue happening over here. Let's get into it. Hello, everybody. It's, oh my gosh, I got buttons undone. Oh, the whole nine yards. I'm looking pretty okay with this new lighting. Pretty okay indeed. Let me get a little live chat in the box here. One second, folks. We're working on it. We're doing our thing. Right down there, we got our florals on, baby. How's everyone doing out there? Doing all right? It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, and this is Bachelor Nation News. I'm coming to you guys with all the content. I've got it all in one place. We've got pregnant alumni. We've got who's going to be the actual bachelor bachelorette excuse me we'll have all of that zelda how you doing zelda you checking in from newport very nice let's see what's going on here one week ago maria spoke about whether or not she would be okay as the bachelorette we believe she would be but let's go to what she had to say that's the wrong setup here i dropped a monitor i shattered one of my monitors today um didn't do it out of rage it just fell Sometimes that's how life goes, folks. All right, so let's do this. We're going to get a lot of people in the chat today. So just come on, join us, hit the like button, and let's uh, let's see what Maria has to say about maybe being The Bachelorette. That a lot from not only Joey, but like people of the fans and stuff like that. And I'm just like in awe of it. Like I, I never, you know, I always wanted to be on the show and not once did I ever think I could get the opportunity to be, to be The Bachelorette. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... It's amazing that people think that I can like do that, you know? Um, so I'm just like appreciative of that. I really enjoyed you on the show, but you know, I'm a realist. Here's the thing too. Here, no, 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 I'm gonna hold you accountable too. Hold on, hold on. Please do. I loved you on the show, but then there were two things, two times where you said, I I'm just gonna leave, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. And then the, the second time was, and I, and I put it down, I'm not gonna read the quote because I can't find it. But you said, if he's, if he's gonna treat other girls like this and kiss other girls, then I can't be. By the way, this is a red carpet host doing too much talking. Be here. Wait, Go ahead. Wait, I will speak my mind on that shit. I was I like, Maria, you're on a time. show, a dating show. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, I'm just joking. But no, honestly, like, again, I, 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 you know, I dealt with a lot of drama in the house. And, um, you know, leading up, I had a great one-on-one. -on -one, but again, that was just a moment. And then it kind of reality sinks in again. And I always felt like it's I was music. Just, like, I don't want to say I was falling behind. But I think our connection was a little bit, and I always felt like I had to, like, I don't know. I was overwhelmed by a lot of things. I know what I signed up for, and I don't know, maybe I was using the, seeing the girls as an excuse, because I was supportive of them, and I, again, I don't know what, what was going through my mind. I can't tell you hearing that a lot. All right, so there it is, a whole bunch of nothing. Let's go to Maria's Instagram. We're just going to be checking on people tonight and seeing what they're saying before the finale. Some were saying Maria was giving clues that might she might be the next Bachelorette. I'm hearing clues that it's not her, so we don't know. She said, it all ends tonight. Who's ready? So that's what she posted. There she was before the women tell all. And then, um, oh, was that? Uh, oh, she was part of the trailer for City TV, I guess. The Bachelor version, the Canada version. Um, what's going on here? I'm rolling. All right. What's up, guys? We're back at the mix. Finale night. This is going to be huge. We're excited. So excited. For tonight, you know, these, uh, we've said, uh, let's redo that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that, but cool. All right. What else? Here's from last week. How many of you know what the phrase knock on wood means? <gasps> I do. Me Pretty too. easy, I right? Do. I definitely do. I you do. Would certainly. I think don't think so. she does. Obviously, I'm very nervous about the rose ceremony. Two roses left and four girls standing. Yeah. One for me girls. and one for you. Yes. <laughs> knock on wood. I know. I don't knock on wood like that. Why am I knocking wood? That's, you knock on wood. No, this when is when I knock on you wood. You don't want something to happen. That's not how I do it. You're wrong. When I say I'm going to get a rose, I knock on wood. That's, That's what I like, do. I'm not going to get a rose. Knock on wood. You're jinxing yourself. Watch. I guarantee 100% you're wrong with this. I've been doing this this way my entire life. I know, but maybe that's the problem. Well, so how is that a problem? Because I'm, you're stopping. You're are you trying to tell me that? <laughs> She's knocking on wood to say that she wants something. You're supposed to knock on wood when That's you don't want it to happen. That's not what happens. Okay, we'll see. It's Google been it working later. my whole life. Can somebody Google this? A knock on the wood is a is preventing a jinx. 
So we're going to have a great show tonight. Knock on wood. You're preventing the jinx. All right, Maria, I want to ask you first, though. Okay. You're sure you're right about this? I'm so sure. It's a Canadian thing, okay? We do it differently over <laughs> well, here. Well, does anyone else do it the way Jen does it? How about we ask the audience? Yeah. Show of hands if you think Maria is right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's okay, like and who thinks Jen is right? Yeah, I don't know. Really? I don't know. I don't know. What? I decent debate. I gotta say, I, I, Maria, I gotta say, I, I kind of think they're both right. Uh, I kind of do it I can for see both. it both ways. I do it either way. <laughs> All right. A nothing many- burger. That was a nothing burger. Let's, I'll tell you what. Let's go to a few Instagram reels, uh, or I should say Instagram videos for tonight's episode. Hello, Bruce, Sarah, Kim, Lauren, Meg, Damiana, everybody. Everybody clap your hands. Yeah, I think, I think they were both bad at explaining what a knock on wood should mean. Um, I... Maria is going to be the next bachelorette. Knock on wood. The knocking on the wood protects the jinx. And I'm not saying that like I know anything. I don't. Okay, let's move it on. What's up, Bachelor Nation? Thanks again for watching this entire season. Make sure you tune in tonight to see the finale. Blink, Joey. What's blink. up, Bachelor Nation? Thanks again for watching this entire season. Make sure you tune in tonight. All right, so there it is. Uh, very nice, Joey, letting us know to tune in. <laughs> I do feel the weight of like how significant this is, meeting his family, it's a little intimidating. I think we should tell you a little bit about how we got here today. Yeah, we had a one-on-one in Ronda, Spain. He swept me away on a little Vespa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and that was so magical. We had we ran around Ronda and I got to tell Joey a little bit more about my family. Mm-hmm. I lost oh. my mom a couple years ago and like my mom meant so much to me. I know that she would love Joey. Um, He's got like the best heart. I feel so lucky that I've gotten an opportunity to get to know her so well. I'm hoping you get to see what I've seen and and get a clear picture of why I feel so strongly about where we're at. The emotional connection the two of them had was very obvious right from the get-go. I think he's gonna have a challenge to try to figure out where is his heart leading him. Coming up tonight on the 17-hour live finale. All right, do you guys want to see a sneak peek at the nursery from today? So we didn't finish it, but I'm very... Oh, hold on one second. I just made and sharing the... um, Oh, people are sending me funny things. By the way, tomorrow may be a buckle-up day on the Patreon. If anyone has any questions about whether or not tomorrow is a buckle up day, please um, ask any questions. I will answer with my eyes, but I can't say anything, okay? All right, I'm going to send you guys right now the wallpaper. This is a custom made, and boy, it's actually better looking than I think you'll even you'll even believe here. So this is, okay, now let me explain. We haven't, now again, this is obviously terrible, Uh, quality um this camera quality is terrible but um the top is not exacto knifed off so the edges aren't there but this is completely smoothed in this is seven pieces seven vertical pieces they are seamless perfectly connected wallpaper uh this is uh the child's safari if you will. Uh, yes, so we've got the very nice elephant in the background, a couple monkeys, a nice giraffe, perfectly sealed. Now, if you wanted to go up close and personal, I could find something wrong with, you know, the Mona Lisa, you know what I mean? But um, you got to look at it from far away. So this didn't take that long. The first piece took us a long time because we didn't want to mess that up. Um when you're installing it, it, we get a basically an extra three inches on the bottom and about an extra two inches on top. So the next, we were going to do this final piece today, but I was like, you know what? Uh, we were, we, we've been so busy that even though I wanted to finish it now tomorrow, this will be, a, this will be super easy to do. Knock on wood. You see what I did there? I knocked on wood. Um, um, Alex said, you vote for Dave Neal fans to call ourselves Dave's princesses. Yeah, we should really have a royal, a royal army is what we should have. We should, have. we should all have royal names. Like Bruce can be the Count 
uh, the Count of um, uh, what would what was what's a good name for Bruce? Maybe the the Count of um, Oregon. The you know the, the I don't know. Uh, I'm running out of thoughts. Thank you, Jane. Everybody else. Um, yeah, I mean it's looking great. We uh, you oh you can't see. We had to cut around one of the outlets. That turned out perfect. Um, we have the different smoother tools we used. Yeah, it came out really good. I mean, like I said, we just kind of ran out of time. Um, I kind of thought I'd be able to do this all in four hours, but I spent a little time getting my Starbucks and, you know, we're, we're not, we're not in a rush tomorrow night. My hope is to absolutely finish it. Uh, Bruce wants to be the court jester. Alicia's in the house. She's the, um, Alicia's the, um, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the dame of the dame of Brooklyn, we'll call you, uh, count moose says, Teresa, um, Oh, Sarah, congratulations. How's your baby girl doing? Yeah, we're due May 1st. We're due on my birthday. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a couple podcast episodes pre-made um, so they're just ready to go live. So if, if, say, we go into labor, you'll get a breaking news podcast episode. Or maybe it won't even be breaking news, but you'll know that, you know, you guys will know, all right, this this is the... This the, the time has come because it'll be like, you know, a very generic podcast episode. Um, thank you, Alice. Yeah, so this window is going to have tall drapes that are sort of like a khaki color. They'll be kind of like safari-like drapes. And then this this wall on the left um, is a was a stained wood that we sort of sanded down and made it a little bit more like a light yellow color. Um, all right, let's move it on to something else, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I appreciate And, you know, because we were obviously really scared. Um, oh, Shay's excited to see the Bruce in person. Um, very, I'm very excited for after the show when I can finally let my guard down. Um, but we'll have a lot of, we'll have a lot of good things a coming. Um, what else can I share? Let's see. We had, um, I heard Kelsey made a TikTok. Let's see if we can find Kelsey's TikTok. Not too much to share right now. We're just going to chill. Um, let's go, uh, da, 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 where it is. Uh, Kelsey TikTok here. <laughs> What's her last name? What's Kelsey Thompson? Is that it? Kelsey Anderson. Anderson? Let's see if we can find her. Is that her name? Kelsey Anderson? There she is. So let's see what her new. Um, I saw a picture recently of my sorority composite, and my smile looks completely different. I used to always tuck my lip under like this, like whenever I would smile. Also, my I mean face has thinned out since you know freshman year of college. That was a while ago, and um, I don't know why I always would tuck my lip under. I've trained myself not to do that anymore, and I will say i did get lip filler like over a little over a year ago no it was probably about a year ago and <laughs> this is what yeah, I, like. cool. I, he I honestly was so upset at myself after i got it i had never wanted lip filler before and i don't know why i got it i've always had lip fuller lips i just would always tuck them in whenever i would smile and stuff it's just like natural to me to do that um, and I can show y'all. This is me. Is, it, is, it, is anyone else like tucking their lips in? And... That's, that's it. I mean, I'm not here to judge, but she's the one talking about it. What'd you say? A little this is a great example. This is me in high school. There's my lips. Well, naturally your lips thin out over time, right? Do I have that correct? And then there's me smiling. Wow, Literally she had moment. braces. It's later just what i would do i would just i wonder if braces contributes to smiling a certain way like tucking your lips under but yeah, i got the lip filler and immediately i regretted it and i ended up getting it dissolved so yeah this is me no filler um and yeah i, I mean it, seemed... since we're talking about it it does seem as though she still has it on her lower lip most people don't recognize lower lip filler because your lower lips are usually bigger like a lot of videos about or people even asking me things like that. Uh, that's something that I never want to do again. Um, I don't ever see myself doing it again just because, you know, I'm happy with the way that I look without anything extra. But also, like, I think that everyone's entitled to do what they want with their body. And that is my lip journey. And this is normal Kelsey. 
Her lip journey. All right, let's. We love Kelsey. What else does she have? Okay, I'm like freaking out because I don't really know what to do. But this butterfly, I was walking to my car after work in the parking lot, and I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was like struggling. She's still working. Still has a job. And it just crawled up on me. Super Robbie says, I have filler and Botox and I'm 23. She can do whatever she wants. I support women's choices. I totally agree. Totally agree. And I, I don't know. It won't, it's like, he's just. You know what I've been using for my face? You won't believe this. I don't know if anyone cares. I've been using castor oil. That's what I, I put it on my hair. And at night, I put it all over my face. Now, a lot of people don't like it because it's really sticky, but it's super thick. Is castor oil good for your face? Look at it. Castor oil, good for face. You know what? I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not kidding when I say this. This isn't a business venture. I really want to develop my own skincare oil r uh, routine. Um, you know, throw in some uh, rosehip seed oil. Throw in some vitamin E. Throw in some castor. Even a dabble of Moroccan oil. I don't give up. I'll do whatever you want. Castor oil is a vegetable oil that people use for a wide range of cosmetic and medical purposes. Provides health benefits for the face and skin, including helping manage acne, moisturizing, and reduces inflammation. Now, look. I know I might not look great, but I'm seventeen. I'm seventy nine years old. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I just that, that's it. That's you know what I like about castor oil. It's like $5 for a whole jug. Everyone's spending all this money on oils, but castor oil, look at that, helps boost collagen, collagen and elastin production, which makes the skin tighter, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. You don't need all these expensive things. You know, you just put some oil on your face. Super Robbie says, Dave's skincare routine video, please. Yeah, I would do um, uh, uh, what to put in your, let's say, what to, what to, to put in your face oil uh, at night i think what else i mean I, I think castor oil would be the big one i would throw some coconut in there but to be quite honest i don't even think one has that much of a benefit over the other i think they're all good um how do you use face oils correctly um combine oils with serums or moisturizer like it, do you guys remember it used to be don't put oils on your face because you thought you'd be clogging your pores and then we found out actually most oils don't clog your pores whatever um a couple drops is all you need marula oil four times the vitamin c as an orange finding the right face so yeah i mean everyone's different maybe people maybe castor oil wouldn't work for some people but i love it and I mean, look how much money, you know, facial recovery. Co people are spending $85 for an ounce of oil. That's ridiculous. And of course, they're not going to tell you what's actually in it. You can buy all these things. Olive oil, sesame oil. I mean, look, I'm literally, I can make lasagna with this. Clary sage oil. I don't know anything about that. Tea tree oil. We all have that. Sage leaf extract. I, you know what? Right now, I'm committing I'm, st I'm creating my own oil line. I'm not here to sell it. Um, if you're lucky enough, I'll let you dabble, dabble, dab some on you someday. Um, Chris wants to see, she said, Chris says, screw skincare. I want to see Dave's hair routine. My hair routine is very, very simple. I actually, um, I, first of all, I, I, uh, I just put castor oil on my hair. Uh, I mix castor oil with Moroccan oil. That's all I do. Argan oil. Um, but Hey, if you guys want a demo someday, I did tell you I was going to do a, uh, a, uh, get ready with me video, but I just haven't. Well, you know what? We'll have to do it for charity one day, not, not charity Lawson, but actual charity someday for charity. I'll be doing get ready with me videos. Um, see, there it is. Kelsey, that's old. We need, Oh, doing the Irish jig. How offensive. Uh, but the Irish are too drunk to care. Um, okay, so that's all we have. What's this? Get unready with me? I don't know. Get unready. People have it out, and then I can actually answer them. And well, y'all yeah. heard her picking it out. Oh, and then all right, so anyway. Um, <laughs> is this Joe? Oh, there it is. Can I call you? All right, so anyway, let's see. Do we have Maria? No, Maria. Who's the other? Who's the finalist? Daisy. That's Wow, forgot their names. Um, thank you, Lala. I mean, yeah, you know, um, when am I getting the money? I'm waiting for the money pieces to come in. I, I was hoping to organically grow them. So here's day. I mean, Daisy's got the big following. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, tonight. tonight listen. Tonight is episode 11 of The Bachelor. It's the season finale. So tune in. I can't say anything else right now. 
I'm excited to watch. It should be a good finale. I gotta go, but hope you all enjoy. I wonder if the, I wonder if she was like contracted to post that. Um, uh, let's see what else she's got. Not a Satanist or any kind of like an evil witch, mm. light worker. Uh, and Emmy wants to know how far along is Tasha. Hey, honey. Tasha. <laughs> Tasha. Baby. Honey. I don't know. She must be sleeping. Um, Tasha is, we are, we are five weeks away from maybe maybe less we're like four and a half weeks away from delivery um my freckle journey says you don't recommend castor oil for all over your face jojoba oil is affordable and is similar to all oh good to know you know, people used to say that, and maybe you'll maybe you'll say this. People used to say that about um, St. Ives. They used to tell me, don't use St. Ives. It tears up your skin. And again, maybe men have thicker skin, not metaphorically, but physically. And I don't know. Every morning I use St. Ives, and then I'll, then I'll usually use um, like a morning burst face wash. Um, Highbury Squad said, Dave, your lighting is perfection. As a fellow podcaster, need some tips. Lighting is so good, it doesn't even look like a green screen. Well, that's it's not a green screen. <laughs> Thank you. you now, this is real. I've actually got a light here. I have two lights on the ground. Oh, there they go. Whoa. And then I've got one light here. And I painted that. And this is a uh, felt. And by the way, I've got a link to this felt company on my Instagram if you wanted to go check that out. I have a link to this. It is, I really like this. I'll tell you why. It's, it, it absorbs sound and light. So even when you shine light onto this, it still looks pretty good, doesn't it? And we have a nice depth of field. I got, you know, I got my setup over here. I bought a new desk. Um, I dropped my, I can't even show you. You can't see it. I dropped my monitor today. It fell on the ground and it's cracked. So we lost a monitor. Um, uh, Invu says, you have the same skincare routine as me when I was 13. Um, Rebecca said, two cleansers. Well, I'll tell you why I do both cleansers. Because the St. Ives doesn't have the acid that the um, morning burst has. Now, don't tell me you like my skincare routine and then question it. So I, uh, so I don't always do both, but I'll usually do the St. Ives for exfoliation, and then I'll do the morning burst because it has that acid that I think helps get rid of some of the grime that doesn't come off from the physical scrubbing. Uh, that's my thoughts. Uh, those are my thoughts. Melissa said, here's a tip. Ask her what she wants to eat after she delivers. Make sure you get that meal for her first meal after giving birth. That meal is the best meal of your life. Thank you, Melissa. I've already got it under control, and we're doing sushi, baby. Uh, we're doing sushi. Uh, thank you, Meg. Yeah, this is my nice, um, this is my uh, um, finale. I wear this shirt every finale. I think Kristen, Kristen Nunez gave it to me. Um, either way, let's see what else we have from Daisy or I tell you what, maybe we've got more coming, uh, our way, uh, 626, um, got a little bit of time, but I'm, I'm going to be looking at the, uh, at some chats here. If there's any, uh, if, there, if anyone knows of any other news or content, let me know. Romeo got married. How exciting for Romeo. I got to do brunch with him when, when I was in New York in the fall. Very nice guy, Romeo. Where art thou? Well, he's at the altar. Uh, happy 22nd birthday to The Bachelor. That's right. On the eve of the finale of Joey's Bachelor season, we must remember that 22 years ago today, our beloved game was born. Wow. Imagine that. That is Chris Harrison on the right. Wow. Um, Chris Jenner said, the problem with St. Ives is a lot of people scrub their face way too hard. I... Um, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't scrub mine too hard. Um, so I want to say this one more time for the Patreon members. I've been told by, this is what happened. Birds, birds fly into my window and they, this is what they say. <laughs> and what that means is Dave, make sure to buckle up tomorrow. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Now, I know sometimes when I tell my audience to bu bu buckle up, 
and then the bumps don't come, they can get very upset. I'm here to tell you this. Shall you, <clears throat> excuse me, shall you choose to bu buckle up? There may be some turbulence. I just want to protect you. I'm not guaranteeing turbulence, but sometimes when you least expect it, sometimes when it rains, it pours. And tomorrow we might be wearing our galoshes is what I'm trying to say here. So blink twice if you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> Susan said, did I see Juan Pablo's daughter on American Idol? I didn't watch it yet, um, but let's go to it. Um, is it on Juan Pablo? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he put it on his Instagram, right? Let's give this a look here. Oh, there it is. Let's have a watch. My name's Camila Galaviz. Camila Galaviz. Uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from Venezuela, but I live in Miami. And how old are you? I'm 14. 14. You're 14. Is she your youngest? The youngest. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you're in school. You're a sophomore, or I'm a freshman in high school. Holy smoke! God, my son's a freshman in high school. What's going on with my life? <laughs> <laughs> and you come from a big family or yeah. musical family? Um, no, my dad. He's a manager in the social media industry because he was on The Bachelor. Huh? And you mean the TV what? show? Yeah. He On was ABC? Yeah. Who is your dad? Juan Pablo Galaviz. Really? Juan That's Pablo your dad? Galaviz? Yeah. Did your dad meet someone on the show? Um, yeah, but they broke up. So he's single? Yeah. He's dreamy. Wow. I smile. Oh, that's too loud. I'm sorry. There he is. Juan Pablo Galaviz. I was born in Ithaca, New York, and I grew up in Venezuela, but I currently live in Miami. I was so confused. He said he was born in New York. All right, I'm going to play this again in a second. I'm just trying to break it up a little bit for the sake of, um, you know, the content, uh, not getting a content strike here. Um, but uh, Sarah said, I love that we're learning about Dave's skincare routine. I actually used a teeth whitener today. Now, I know everyone's got an opinion on teeth whiteners. Oh, Dave, how can you? I drink so much coffee. You know, it's your teeth end up getting stained every once in a while. You need to give them a good old whitening. Um, La Lala said, Juan Pablo is funny. I'm sorry he was a bad bachelor. You know, you know, I actually never watched his season. I never watched it. Um, thanks, Mabes. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, we got a nice little setup here. Um, let's 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 see how we how she does. What's going on, man? How are you? Hey, man. <laughs> how are you? Man? How are you? Good to see you. He's a good-looking dude. You too? No. <laughs> I know you're not. Hey, good to see you again. Juan Pablo. Hi. This is your daughter. It's been Wait. Now it's been ten years, so she was four. What? She was four. Yeah. But you know what it's like to be on television. You're trying to throw her in this lion's <laughs> den. Not really. <laughs> I try to hold as much. Whose idea was this? She's been singing since she's little, you know, and the opportunity came, she wanted to do it. And I say, I don't know if you're old enough. That was last year, they say. Well, maybe next year. And then here she is. So here we'll see how is. it goes. Spoken, spoken like a true dad, hypnotized. Do you mind singing in front of him or is it making no. you more nervous? No, that actually makes me feel a little more comfortable. Really? Do you want to sit by the dad. piano? Yeah. I'll sit here. You stay right on the oval. I'll sit here, I'll sit here with you. So it's fine. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man. Just make yourself right at home and on ABC. <laughs> um, okay, well, Camilla, what are you going to sing for us? Um, I'm going to sing Rabia by Joaquina. Okay, go ahead. All right, we'll, we'll play it in a second. Again, I'm just going to space it out a few minutes here. Um, hi, Burry says, so I'll take your lighting Rex in the teeth whitener. I'm British and we drink too much tea. Well, lighting's so tough. I mean, I, I honestly, right now I'm just using a ring light and these two lights behind me that used to go to powering my green screen are now just up lights. So they're just there to help me. Like I would be, to be quite honest, I mean, it doesn't change my light that I get from my, like I've got, you know, this light right here can go pretty if I turn it all the way up, I mean, that can go pretty big, but see how that bleaches me out? But then when I have a little bit behind me, I don't quite need as much right here. So I just turn this down a little bit, real low actually. And then of course I've got a, um, a very, uh, let me go a little higher. I've got a very great lens that I'm using. I've, got, I've been using, um, when I moved to Nashville, my lens died. I have this lens right here. Now this lens is only a hundred bucks. This camera is 2000 The camera I'm using right now is a $500 camera with a $1,000 lens. I 
don't use my nice camera on here. It's a, it's complicated, but point is, um, it was so cold on my drive that this lens just broke. Now you can take the lens off, of course, and you know they they come off like that, and you just you know not supposed to do that. You know, don't want to get dust in there. Anyway, nobody cares. Um, Emmy says, "Am I the only one who truly wants Daisy for Bachelorette?" I'd be okay with Daisy. Um, Kelsey would be good. I think Kelsey. I think Kelsey and Maria would both do a better job getting men to go a little cuckoo. Uh, Natalie with a super chat. Hey, just wanted to say hi. Miss you all. Love Derek and I. Hey, Natalie. Good to see you. You know, actually, Natalie, I feel like I've seen you've been putting out some good content on Instagram. So uh, keep doing your thing. Bruce said the felt is looking good. Yeah, and like like Bruce said, I, I am considering moving it. I'm just I'm 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 working with an you know um, a new desk I bought yesterday, and I just haven't had time to to put it all together. Um, I do think I do think I want some sort of neon sign right there, like an actual neon sign. I don't know what I want it to say. Maybe just Dave. Maybe just Dave. I don't know. I have no idea. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, be too pigeonholed into, I don't want it to, maybe it'll say rush hour. I'm not sure. Um, I am not sure. Okay, let's listen. Juan Pablo's daughter. Noches de verano, atardecer en la autopista, vacilos en la radio, tus canciones favoritas, cantamos a tu pulmón. Te acuerdas, sos solo soy yo. Pues. Sé que seguro ella a ti te da miles de mariposas. Le dices que te encanta su sonrisa cuando posa. Anoche me metí en tu perfil, fue por chismosa. Estabas tan feliz y bueno, ella tan hermosa. Así que ve a decirle a todo el mundo que yo sigo en el pasado, que en cada conversación yo te menciono demasiado, que mis celos me han ganado. Llámame egoísta, mentirosa, no te culpo para nada. Quiero estar feliz por ti, pero me da rabia. There it is. All right. So, of course, very cute. Well, uh, well, uh, my my guess is, my guess is they tell her, I don't know. I don't know if I think they would let her through because of the old ABC thing. Um, someone goes, American Idol is supposed to be in English. Shut up, Fermi la bouche, s'il vous plaît. Um, I tell you what, this is the you know, music's a tough game, right? Because you probably have better odds making her an American Idol versus a 25-year-old. I hate to say, I mean, when you're you're 14, I mean, they can they can kind of mold you into what they want. I don't know if it's healthy for you, but with music, I mean, she could be the next Shakira for all we know. Um, so n not necessarily about who's got the biggest pipes. Um, so my guess is they keep her around. He's got a good voice. It sounds a little young. It's very like got lots of personality. It's very youthful. I'm just looking for some of those notes that could come out and really compete with the other contestants. Luke, what do you think? Love your confidence. Love your personality. It's very listenable. Your voice very is- very pop. It's very pop. I think your biggest hurdle is the big high notes are still giving you a little bit of trouble. I mean, you're so young. I just don't know if it's ready yet. I agree with Luke a little bit here in terms of experience. Well, let me say one more thing. I think the right producer right now could take your voice oh. and cut a hit album on you right now. That's what I'm saying. But in this competition, I think you're going to get swallowed up a little bit. Let's vote. I'll go first. I'm going to give you a, a no. Whoa. But take the time and develop it. Katie? I think you have a very accessible voice. It, yes, it needs a little bit of stretching. You've got a pop voice. I mean, the biggest growing genre in music Market. is Spanish Market. music. You are authentically that. So take her. So it's a yes for me. Nice. And it's down to Luke. Oh, boy. 
What is it gonna be, Luke? These people have way more experience than me, and if I make it, I'm gonna be. I always say this, you know, give her another song to sing. If you didn't get all the range out of her, very happy. And if I don't, it's fine because I'm still young, so it's like I'll be fine. Well, here's what I wrote no on my page, but then I told you the right producer could make you a hit song. So I'm giving you a yes. Wow, wow, wow. Just based on that, because you've got a radio tone. Ooh, ooh. Listen, oh. Camila! Come on, please. Listen, you've got a lot of work cut out for you. And I hope you guys... <laughs> you barely made it in. <laughs> oh. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> You're, You're going, going to Hollywood. Hollywood. Wow. Wow. Breaking news. She's going to Hollywood. All right. Um, yeah, cool. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe she can learn a couple notes. When you're 14 and have a good voice, who knows what the right sound coach or vocal coach can help you do? Um, Damiana says, and he also said she'll be swallowed up. Yeah, you know, but whatever. It's still, it's like, you know, it's one of those things. Even if she gets swallowed up, it's now, 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 like when it comes to auditioning for her musical theater class in high school, she'll have that experience. You know, it's all kind of even if even if she doesn't make it end game, it if she's meant to do it and wants to do it, it'll open up new doors to her. Uh, -da 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 -da. Uh, yes, botanicals. That was Juan Pablo. All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, do 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 do. Uh, so let's see. Um, who else do we have? Did we do Maria? We did Maria. We did Kelsey. Did we do Kelsey? Let's see if Kel. This is what I hate that about TikTok. You got to divide your time between TikTok and um. So we've got Kelsey there, and very. I mean, look, guys. I'm telling you right now, I am not uh, a fashion expert. Hey, honey, Tasha. Can you come here? I need fashion help. I hate Daisy's dress. I want to see what Tasha thinks. No offense to Daisy. I love Kelsey's dress. I think Daisy's... Do I want. I wanted some fashion advice, but I didn't want to bury the lead. Can you help me? Come on. I, I've, I, want, I, want, to, I want you to look at the finalists here. And um, ladies and gentlemen, we've got uh, Tasha Marie Courtney coming in. And by the way, I'm getting a lot of compliments today. I've been going over my skincare routine. Here's the one good thing is you can actually sit next to me now. Here, have a seat. Sit next to old Davey Ballgame. No, come here, you old big-breasted <laughs> booty. You old mama with her big old, big old boobies. This chair support us both. We're about to find out. <laughs> All right, so we're in the new setup here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is my wife with child of eight months. He's he's a Taekwondo expert of the bladder. <laughs> Any updates for us here today on Bachelor Finale? You mean like fashion? Well, just commentary. You. What are you? Who are you wearing? Baby bump bump, bump suit. suit. <laughs> Very nice. So we've got Kelsey on the left, Daisy on the right. What? Which one do you like better? And give me your thoughts. The on outfit. As I now, I knew I need my audience to know. Tasha's a professional or a retired professional fit model. So she uh, she's an expert on what fits. I like the left. If I'm choosing between the two, I like the left a lot. You can see that it has an interior corset. See in the middle there? Oh, there we go. There you go. That's what that is, an interior corset? No, no, yeah, no. It's kind of like, no, no, oh, no. oh, I'm sorry, underneath. The boning down here. Oh, yeah, the boning. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, Joey's going to be doing some boning after seeing this outfit on him. Oh, oh my you. goodness. Watch out. Use protection. Don't pull the oh, goalie. Oh, my goodness so gracious. There, so anyway, you like the boning. Yeah, so that's an interior corset, Louis, which is going to suck said, you uh, in and make you feel snatched. Louis said, God damn, Tasha is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, isn't she just absolutely glowing here? This is a... This Feeling is a, sweaty. <laughs> no, I'm not and letting... Large and, and, and I'm breath. not letting you uh, uh, deflect. And I showed the audience just the beginning works of <laughs> Tasha's magical slash very expensive. Hit the super chat button. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. Don't come for me. But either way, uh, that's, uh, that's partly... Anyway, let's go back. So that was Tasha's doing. So what's this... What's this lace material? That lace material is really sexy. Why yeah, is lace I mean, so sexy? So it kind of looks like it's meant to just be like a peekaboo looking like it's a little like bra or something 
special. You know what I mean? It's it's just an, an added layer to the design. Oh, I'm sorry. But you can kind of see Keep going. <laughs> uh, right under her armpit there. It does look like there is a pleat. So maybe they wanted that to be more of a cowl, but it's just fitting. Spaghetti straps. Like nice and tight across her chest. But I think it's really pretty. Um, what do you do for a bra? With this, what do you do for a bra in a situation? No bra. But what kind of do you do? You put your own padding in this? Like, does this come with a? No, there's no padding in there. Don't love that. This <laughs> might even have an underwire because it has the boning. It may have an I underwire. It, I thought there was underwire. Now, of course, it's got um. It, uh, what would you call this? Like a pencil? What would you call the the, yeah, the way it it's hugs? Yeah, just straight. Yeah. And this is a midi a, a midi dress. No, or it's ankle. Ankle. And then here's the thing. No offense to daisies. I think I. I found this to be very this. You know what this reminded me of? Dumb and Dumber. Their outfits. Remember the Dumb and the Dumber suit yeah. that he has. Dumb and Dumber tux. This is what it looked like to me. <laughs> <laughs> can I just get? Oh, come on! Can we get there? Oh, because <laughs> it's blue and it has ruffles. That's what I just think right that it's not, you know, obviously the one on it's the left is meant well. to be very skin tight and form fitting. And the one on the right is meant to be more grazing. But I just really prefer how the one on the left looks. Um, this one, The one on the left looks like it's tailor made for her. And the one on the right looks like it's not. But you would say the one on the left looks like it's tailor made for her because of the design. It's got mm -hmm. the, um, you know, form fitting yep. versus this is very much like... If I was to see a movie where a girl died in an old house and haunted somebody, she would be wearing this outfit. Oh, that's the lasagna the timer. Lasagna. Oh, the lasagna's done. <laughs> All right, any other thoughts about um, about the pregnancy? Um, what else you got for us? Nothing. Got nothing. You got nothing? All right. I'm going to have to stand around. up. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, show us the belly at least. Give us a twirl. Give us a twirl. <laughs> Wow. Oh, hold on. There she is. There hold on. Go. Show us. Give me right in front of the light. Here, let's take a step that way. Yeah, real up. Yeah, look at that. We got a nice we got a nice up light happening on the lower belly. Where is the <laughs> Show me the fundal length. I don't know what that All right. Is. Okay. Give me a tape measure, baby. That's love, folks. You know you're in love when you measure your your lady's fundal height. Um, can I say that on air? We just did. All right. Um, yeah, no. And again, it's no offense to, it's no offense to Daisy. It could have been that she already, uh, exercised all of her good outfits for all I know. Um, uh, -da 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 -da. <laughs> and then what outfit is this? Is this them? What? Uh, this was for new, this was the hometowns. I was trying to see if she was wearing a dress there. No, so she's wearing all white. That's dangerous to wear all white. Very dangerous happening there. So, all right, so we have Kelsey, and let's see if we've got... who. That's not the four of them. No, those are the sisters. I'm looking to see which one has the... Uh, oh, so maybe Kelsey had that blue dress. Oh, blue, no, Kelsey's wearing a different blue dress. I don't know. I'm just. I'm not in my baby blue era. Again... I'm not one to judge people on their outfit choices. Look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a floral, you know, button-up shirt. Um, yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, Melissa said Tasha looks amazing and fit for being really pregnant. Uh, very nice. I'll, I'll forward the message along. So, um, uh, yeah, different styles and vibes. All right, so we got 10 more minutes here. Let's see what else we have going on. I wanted to check out, um, I was looking to uh, get, by the way, ever since we did Off the Vine, we have gotten so many new followers. Oh, by the way, did we share this? Ladies and gentlemen, some podcaster right there. This was not, by the way, th this isn't my actual body. I just need to let you know that. Um, I'm actually stronger than this. This is, oh, no, I'm kidding. Um, Diet Coke. Uh, so there, there is uh, my Texas Hold'em outfit. And don't forget, if you are in town in Phoenix, I will be hanging out with lots of y'all. Lots of y'all will be there. Oh, I actually have a new reel I need to post. Um, haven't done that yet. Either way, let's go to Daisy. Do we already? No, we did Daisy on TikTok. Let's see what Daisy has to say. Again, guys, we're try we're uh, sort of barrel scraping right now. So, oh, you know what? I got I got to tell you. Daisy's dress looks better in this photo. I have to tell you, I think it looks it looks a little frumpy in the other photo. Um, again, tell me to shut up. What do I know? So there he is giving her her rose. 
Um, you know what it is? Yeah, this dress doesn't look good when you're just standing. Oh, Egyptian toes when you're just standing there, but it almost looked better when she was walking. There she is walking. Okay, what do I know? Um, so anyway, there they are. And they're all cheersing. Here's the heartbreak for one of us. Um, let's see what else we have going on. And my guess is we will know who the Bachelorette is by the evening live stream. Where's this? Is that at the place they stayed at? Oh, that's nice. A leaf cut lounge chair. How fun is that? And a crochet top. Daisy definitely has very chill vibes. We love the chill vibe. What's that? A slider? She's got a little, it looks like she's eating a turtle. It doesn't look like a little burnt turtle there. Um, all right. Um, let's go see another trailer from The Bachelor. Let's see if they have any new trailers. Doesn't look like there's any new trailers. That's Joey um, at the tennis courts. Did you know Joey plays tennis? Um, let's go to the actual. Well, that's not what we want. I've been waiting for this moment for a very. Let's go to this one. I do have two amazing women here. I can picture a life with both of them, but there's still a fear if that person is going to choose me. Wow. <laughs> I do have oh, that's two all. I think that was a longer here. one. Yeah, we're not doing any spoilers in the chat. That's a credit to us, our amazing uh, moderators. I keep the roses in my journal, and I still have them up to this date. <laughs> I would give them back to my producer for safekeeping. They actually fit in my KC chicken box that we got from the pool party. Well, I was keeping them, my friends, but now they're gone, so. <laughs> <laughs> I kept one petal from each of my roses, but the rest kind of went to the compost. <laughs> Throw them away. I only got one. I kept one, but the rest I threw away. Um, the one rose I got, it's in the trash. You know, this is good. I always wondered what they did with the roses. I kept one petal from each rose Joey gave me. Uh, my favorite thing to do in the house was sleep. In my downtime, I like to crochet and mind my business. <laughs> Joey smells fine. <laughs> I don't remember. He smells like he's been out like chopping mm -hmm. um, down a tree. So you just smell a little new. I don't know. <laughs> Joey's got new bachelor smell. I do have two amazing women here. I can picture a life with both of them, but there's still a fear if that person is gonna choose me. <sighs> Where's the, oh, sorry, I keep on looking for the longer one. Is this the longer one? I do have two. No, this is the longer, no, that's not it. Is this the longer one? This is, is the biggest week of my life. I'm falling in love with both Daisy and Kelsey. And I can see a future with both of them. Daisy is someone who gets me to my core. It's a feeling I've never had before. The truth is, I do love you. With Kelsey, we have this physical bond and connection that's real. I can't tell you how much he means to me. Even though these women have given me nothing but confidence that they will choose me, there is still a doubt that they would say yes. Has she expressed that she wants to marry you? I'm just nervous. About what? About it all working out. It just felt like something was a little like off with us. And like it shouldn't feel this way. It keeps getting like more real. And it's terrifying. Today I woke up and I truthfully felt the weight of all of this. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I'm still afraid that this might not work out. expect it to go that way.
coming up tonight. All right, so this is going to happen uh, shortly. And, of course, everyone was jaw-dropped. Oh, my gosh, can you imagine? Who is that? She looks familiar, doesn't she? Um, uh, did Bristow tell you she is the next Bachelorette? Wouldn't that be crazy if Caitlin Bristow was the next Bachelorette? Um, no. Uh, B. Bean said, where is Dave's excitement for this episode? I don't know. I'm just trying my best. You know, I'm here. I was hanging wallpaper. Um, I'm, I'm sort of excited. I mean, yeah, I'm excited. I'm just kind of like, eh, eh, what can you do? Um, I broke my monitor today. Check this out. Um, my monitor was perfectly working. It was a great monitor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say goodbye to my monitor. So long, monitor. I bid you farewell. You are a great monitor, but it appears as though your time has come to an end. This was a nice monitor too. It was a nice Samsung. Um, it's gone. The reason my monitors broke is because I got a new desk and my monitors wouldn't attach the way I had them before. So I set them up in a certain way and I went to go move one and it just fell. And to be honest, it didn't fall that far. It fell four feet off the ground onto carpet, but that was enough to ruin a monitor. You could say I should have monitored the monitor, but um, short of it being attacked by a monitor... You know, the lizard? Um, there's no other way I could have uh, seen this coming. Yes, oh no, indeed. So I think what I'm going to do, um, Joanna says, Dave, are you re-living at 11 p.m. or after the final rose? I'm going to wait till after the final rose. Yes, rest in peace to Dave's monitor. Um, do, 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 do. Hey, Bruce, you want to get, should we get like steak or something Wednesday night? Should we get dinner near the hotel? Uh, we're going to be staying uh, near each other. Um Maybe we should go find a place to get dinner. Um, I need like to I need to find a good monitor, but I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, <laughs> B Bean says, "Can you expect a piece of lasagna?" Yeah, sure. Come on over, have some lasagna. Um, Highbury Squad said, "If Maria isn't the next Bachelorette, how disappointed will you be?" Considerably disappointed, especially since there's probably no uh, Bachelor in Paradise. So, yes, I'm considerably disappointed. Um, Bruce, I get in. I need to buy. I need to get a um, I need to get a, a car. I still haven't rented a car. Are you you're flying, right? I need to get a car, but um, I don't know why. Maybe you know of uh, of a good car rental place, but the prices were just really wild. And I was like, all right, I'll, if the prices don't come down, I'll just get an Uber. Um, uh, Natalie, come on. Um, are we five minutes away? Well, there it is, five minutes away. Um, do, 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 do. I'm checking some things. Oh, look at this. How exciting. Let's end on this. We have chicks in the office at the live after show. When will I get some respect and get some, uh, you know, look at this. We are at Broken the Wall. Yep, we are at the finale of The Bachelor, and we're behind the scenes. We're in the crowd. How exciting. We will be live posting all night long, so make sure you're following, especially on Twitter, because we'll be live tweeting the whole night. Who's Joey going to pick? We're going to find out right in front of our faces. Now, if, I, if I were the producers, I would invite me. No offense, I mean, I'm happy for them, but if I were the producers, I would invite me to the live after show and then let me do some, you know, let me talk to people. You know, we got so many people in the chat. All right, I'll be back in three hours. Enjoy the finale. We'll probably have breaking news as to who the Bachelorette is and all that jazz. If you want that extra tea tomorrow, if it comes in, I got to say if because I don't want anyone to get all their panties twisted. Yeah, Dave didn't deliver. If it comes in, buckle the F up because I'm going to be delivering it to you tomorrow. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. You can join for as little as $5 a month. You can even join for free. Go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal. There's a free membership if you don't want to pay. But for the paid part, you got to go that there for the video. All right, folks. We'll, oh, uh, Shay says we got some Scottsdale restaurants. Let me know. Get me that lasagna, baby. I'll talk to you guys all in three hours. Goodbye, everybody. Happy finale.